Okay, in the last video we talked about uh, the speed of electromagnetic waves and we used V equals lambda F. Now we're going to just talk about sound waves and they uh, need some medium to transmit them. And so we have like the speed of sound in air is around, it's approximately 340 meters per second. Uh, we have the speed of sound in water is approximately five times that. And then we have the speed of sound in solids and it really depends on what the solid is but it's substantially higher yet. It's up to like 5,000 meters per second. Okay, so now the speed of sound depends on density, pressure, temperature, uh, bonding, chemical bonding, in the material, which for air is very little. Um, other things for air, and, and so there's a lot of things, there's, there's actually just lots and lots of factors. So these are very, very, very approximate values. When we said that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared, that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, you're going, that's, that's pretty accurate. Uh, but 340 meters per second, it can be a wide, wide, wide range. Um, and speed of sound in water can also be a wide range depending on temperature and pressure and all and, and how much salt is dissolved in the water and, and then extremely variable in solids that's just an extremely rough number it can go uh, very very low it can go under a thousand and it can go higher well over five thousand so just some typical values in there Okay, so if we think about air, Okay, humans can detect sound between around 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz, and so if we do uh, V equals lambda F, we say that that's a frequency hertz, and so lambda is, say, 340 meters per second, divided by 20 hertz, and we're going to get 340 divided by 20 
his 17 meters and so and then also we have lambda is 340 meters per second divided by 20,000 Hertz so that's um, about 1.7 centimeters okay so again the human the human uh, sound detection system which is basically our ear is really 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 variable and so the sound waves that we can hear basically range from between 17 meters long and 0 0.017 meters long. Uh, the last thing I want to say is uh, I want to do so sound okay radios and sound okay because some people don't actually just sort of think about this the right way. Um, so here I have a person and here I have a microphone. How fast do the sound waves go from, so this is A and this is B from A to B they ha they are sound waves and then the velocity of those sound waves is 340 meters per second okay then that goes into a transmitter which is hooked to a big antenna and then somewhere over here you have your little radio and so now the radio waves go from C to D they go at the speed of, these are radio waves and they travel at 3 times 78 meters per second which is the speed of light and so then your radio has a speaker on it and then you have another person here who has very big ears and the sound goes from the speaker so D to E for ear D to E it is back to sound going at 340 meters per second so sometimes I get people and they go well radio when I listen to the radio that's sound so it goes at 340 meters per second when we're talking about radio waves radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation and they are going at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second and they are not sound waves they are electromagnetic waves Okay, so the person speaks into a microphone, that's going at 340 meters per second. Now as it goes through the electronics, it's going at probably around half to three quarters the speed of light out to the antenna, then it goes at the speed of light roughly from the antenna 
to your radio, then from your radio to your ear is going back at the speed of sound.